there you happy clappy people. We can respawn it, I'm Squiff Respawn, and today I've got a bit of free time. So I'm gonna, ooh, music cut out. That was weird. Was it, we've gone creepy all of a sudden. Yes, I've got some free time and I'm gonna finally play a game that I've been looking forward to. <laughs> that got weird. Cooking Companions. Uh, apparently it's very similar to Doki Doki Literature Club. So it's going to be a lot of reading in this one. Apparently it's very, very creepy. So I'm going to have a piece of this. The music was a bit chipper early on. It's It's gone creepy. So foreboding what we'll be coming into. Especially when you look at the title screen, which is uh, very friendly compared to what we're actually dealing with with the current sound effects. Oh, there you go. it went back to normal. Oh, okay. But so yeah, yeah this is a story-based uh, game. Uh, this game is not suitable for children. This is why the kids aren't here. And those are easily disturbed. Do you wish to continue? Yes, of course we do. So there is going to be a lot of reading in this one. So I'll read for the characters. Uh, obviously, as usual, my dyslexia may kick in. But I will have a crack at it. So, uh, Gregor, which assumes the big fella up here. Uh, that walk was brutal, but this ca uh, cabin is amazing. Oh, my eye itches. There you go. Uh, full kitchen, running water. It really well has everything. Uh... Anatoly, God, you guys got hard names. Uh, finally, a place I can read a good book in peace. Uh, Mariah, at least you got a fairly normal name. Uh, I can't wait to ta. Ah! Ah! Choo! Uh, I'm sorry, everyone. It must be the dust. Uh, is that Karen or Karin? Kar Karin? 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 I'll go with Karin. Karin. Uh, get those allergies under control, Mariah. Uh, Gregor, don't worry guys, I'm sure with little elbow grease we can make this cabin shine. Uh, so are you volunteering to clean, Gregor? No! Uh, not many supplies here, guess we'll have to go out and get what we need. Uh, there's a fireplace to make stew, uh, so let's gather up some firewood together. Uh, Leave that to me, little guy. I'll tidy up around the cabin. Need to save uh, Mariah from dying due to this dust. <laughs> oh, okay, you're gonna be one of those characters. <laughs> I love the, uh, the expressions, very, very Japanesey. Uh, hey, uh, allergies are nothing to joke about, Karine. Uh, she's not dead yet. Pip squeak, calm down. I like you already. Uh, thanks, Anatoly. I think I'll go for. Foraging, sorry, there you go, I think it's my dyslexia. Foraging outside with over 450 mosses, 900 fungi, and 70 slime molds. Ooh. Uh, they're bound to be treasure up here. Yeah, I'm not sure I'd want to eat that one. Uh, roughing it's fun. Uh, Anatoly knows so much about edible food. We're in good hands. So I assume these guys have gone on holiday and not brought any food with them, which is daft. You bring something with you, you'd think. Uh, I think the slime molds will be the most delicious. God, you're weird. Uh, most certainly not. <laughs> what about the fungi? Do you ever know which ones are poisonous, Anatoly? I, uh... What? What do you see? Shush. 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 You don't want the fungi either. I, uh, I could figure that out. Uh, you can be... Cannery in the coal mine, Anatoly? What the hell? Cannery? Oh, I don't have the detective dictionary on that one. I'm not ending up a corpse here. Uh, keep both eyes open, little guy. Plenty of wolves and brown bears around. Okay, that seems like a bad thing to have around. Um, they won't be but a problem. I read up on 10 different techniques to incapacitate them. What, a bear? Do any of them include a gun? Uh, number one is gun. Anatoly. Uh, uh, yeah, sorry, Mariah. Got carried away again. Ha ha ha. I'll help Anatoly like for you. Uh, for, look, for, look, for, look for food. I'm definitely better at wandering off while uh, warding off animals. Uh, if we come up empty handed, we can always eat some of the food we brought. Ah, oh, so they have brought some food. Okay. You mean the emergency rations? Bad idea, chump. Hey, Anatoly and Mariah are getting the food. Gregor is gathering the firewood. That makes you a designated chef. Oh, cheers for that. Hang on, nice I've got a part of the decision in this one. Everyone's looking at you expectantly. You not. Well, okay, I'll just expect that. Uh, very excited to try your cooking. You... Okay. Uh, all right, everyone. Let's go and work while there's still sunshine, uh, sunlight. Later. Oh, that's me and Karine. Mariah, Anatoly, Gregor... The three exit the cabin, leaving you and Karine alone. 
Uh, I think Anatoly put the supplies in the kitchen. Thanks for helping out with the cooking. Tutorial. To save the game, right click or hit the escape button on your keyboard to pull up the menu. Woo! And then save game. Empty slot there. There you go, first game. Back to game. Okay. This menu or this menu will also allow you to adjust volume, blah, 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 blah. Please note, going back to the main menu or exiting the game without saving, blah, 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 blah whatever. Uh, do you have any experience making meals? Uh, okay, butter them up. Uh, probably not. <laughs> I'm extremely lazy. That's very true for me, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pretend I'm... Uh... Hey, I am lazy, son. Uh, well, I appreciate your honesty. Uh, let me know if you need uh, any help uh, with uh, help with anything. God damn dyslexia! I'm pretty good with a knife. Uh, okay, Karen looks pleased with your answer. Perhaps this is the beginning of a wonderful relationship. Karen will remember that. Are we not already friends or so? Oh, we got hey building up relationships already. Okay, so obviously this is another aspect of the game. We have to build our relationship with these people. Uh, anyways. Going to check out the living room. Let's talk later. Okay, Kareen. Right, I'm gonna uh, whip up something delicious, my new love of my life. Kareen heads into the living room and starts dusting a little bit. You decide to look around the kitchen to find the ingredients for a meal tonight. Tutorial. Oh, God. You need to know what you'll find around the cabin. Clues that secrets may be revealed by searching an area more than once. Okay. Uh, why not give it a try? What area would you like to... Uh, Search first. Uh, let's look at the gold cupboards. Let's use to keep all the stuff. The first few cupboards are empty. Anatoly must have put the supplies somewhere else. So let's check the cupboards again. You check the cupboard again. Just some mouse turds and cobwebs. Can't eat none of them. We'll go check that one more time then. You check the cupboard underneath the sink. You found a dead mouse. Lovely. This would be a great gift for Kari. What? Uh, you added a dead mouse to you. Why? Uh-huh. Okay, well, I'll check that again. You put the dead mouse back in the cupboard. Yeah! Karine's not ready for a dead mouse yet. No! No! Uh, there's nothing but cobwebs back here. Uh, thankfully, no spiders. Okay, let's check it again. Uh, your little wood log's closer. Aha! Uh -huh. It's a pile of Norway spruce. Okay. Must be the type of wood. No spruce won't burn as hot as logs from the oak tree. It would be useless during the snowfall. Okay, and drawers. You check the drawers on the left. Just some dirty knives. Uh, check the drawers in the bottom of the mouse hole. Something kind of mold that's growing. This one. Maybe Kareen will find it appetizing. Why do you want to keep feeding Kareen these weird things? Uh, you check the drawer above the wood pile. Something is making it difficult to open. You pull it open with all your might. Veggies! Oh, it talks. It's a Pokemon. It tells you its name. Uh, it's time. Oh, we've got an achievement for that. Champet Camp uh, Captain. Uh, Champet, sound off. Onion. Onion, never fear. Onion is here. <laughs> Bread. Why do you sound so monstrous? Like my cousin Cornbread says, I'll rise to the occasion. Oh, God. You're going to be one of them people. Raspberry. Raspberry. Always merry raspberry. Cabbage. Potato. Cabbage stuffed me into this drawer. I'm pretty sure this counts as kidnapping. <laughs> We're the champettes. Why talk with those boring humans? All they have to give you is drama. Come chat with us instead. We'll share valuable recipes uh, you can cook. Right, uh, so these must be like the tutorial guys then or something. Uh, we'll sh uh, share with you our secret and pet recipes. Do I get to use you guys? That'd be the cool one. Just eating sentient vegetables and bread. Uh, collect them all to become a five-star chef. Tutorial. You can find unlock recipes in the main menu under extra, but be sure to save the game. To celebrate, here's your first recipe card. Roasted eggplant with season and pomegranate meat free. Well, okay. Oh, I've got food here. You unlocked your first recipe. Yeah. So if I go to extras then. Are there any extras? Oh, okay, maybe not in this section then. Um, if we ever want to talk, just come to the drawer. Champettes, let's move out. 
Okay, this game's took a weird twist already. Cabbage rudely slams the drawer closed. You wonder if you, what you just saw was real. Yeah, I'm kind of wondering if you've laid into the fungus early or something and now you're tripping balls. Uh, you're slightly worried about what this means for your mental state, uh, but only slightly. Oh, I'm, yeah, you know what, if you want to look at this drawer down here, I see some freaky stuff down there. Go on, Curry, have a check. Hey, did you find the supplies? Uh, you shake your head. Anatoly lied, he actually put them in the bedroom. <laughs> Idiot. Here you go. You got the emergency supplies. Curry leaves you alone. You start a fire with some of the wood and get to work cooking dinner. Tonight's in Troy, vegetable stew. In a large saucepan over heat, you put a lot of water. Okay, this is how we make vegetable stew. 15 minutes later, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, whatever. Cooking butter in saucepan. It does actually sound quite nice, though. Throw some chopped onions. You cook for 10 minutes. The onions are tender and translucent. Perfect. Perfection. The next, mix in some flour. Salt, pepper, and heavy cream into the saucepan. Wow, this actually does sound quite good. Uh, hours pass. We're back. More firewood uh, than you'll ever need. Okay, did you bring any food? We found some wild sporrel? Sorrel? Sorrel? I don't know what that is. Uh, maybe tomorrow we'll have a bigger bounty. Anatoly's burying the lead. Burying the lead? <laughs> we saw the red deer. Ooh, okay, now that's what I want. Mariah spotted it. Uh, yeah, that's great. Anyways, killed 17 spiders. Wow, today while you were out looking for deer. Wah! That should come as no surprise. There's over 160 species of spider here. Oh god, she's going to lose the plot. <laughs> 160. Uh, don't worry, Maria. Uh, Mariah, uh, I'm uh, sure they will all uh, all in the bathroom or something. Yeah, the phone's going off again. Uh, yeah, no. Almost all of them were near the couch. <laughs> ah! I was going to sleep on the couch. That's where 16 of them were. I'm not sleeping on the couch then. <laughs> hmm. Uh, and there's only two beds in the bedroom. Don't sweat it, Mariah. I can sleep anywhere. So I'll sleep on the uh, rocking chair. I'll sleep with one eye open just in case any of them swarm the couch. <laughs> Thanks, Gregor. Uh, Karina and Anatoly, you two take the bedroom. T -t -t Thanks, big guy. Wow, okay, you got a stamina there, son. Uh, joke's on you, Gregor. I always plan to ta here taking one of the beds. Hey, Anatoly, I snore louder than a lumber yard. Uh huh. Sweet dreams, chump. Wow, she is, she is mean. And, and yet I still like her, and I don't know why. You turn back uh, to your bubbling vegetable stew and try a bite. Ooh, that does look really good. It would be better with meat, though. We need some meat in that. This tastes pretty good. You cooked, you get lots of achievements in this. Vegetable stew, first meal. You set the table and uh, ask everyone to dig in. Everyone happy with this, sir? Oh, wow, this smells delicious. Thank you. Uh, you must be a wonderful uh, world-class chef. Ah, first time at it. Karine takes a bite. Oh, we're not happy with that. It's bland as hell. Kareem, tastes like every other vegetable stew I've ever had, so generic. Okay, I just made you a meal. Yeah, it, well, to be fair, yeah, it could probably use some meat. So you know what, you're, you're right, you're right, yeah, you're definitely right, you're certainly not wrong there. Gross. So I take you're a vegetarian then. Mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm. Uh, for the side dish, we could bake uh, some bread and utilise the... Fruguria Vesca, also known as straw straw. Why would you go such a complicated word? Just strawberries, uh, for some jam. Nobody cares. Pip squeak. Everyone laughs at Kareen polite ribbing. Nothing makes you happier than cooking a great meal for all your friends. Uh, this could very well be the best day you've ever had. Uh, you go to bed stuffed. Okay, so we're on. This must be the first day then, now that we're out. Uh, hey, you up? How'd you sleep? I was so warm uh, last night, I didn't even need, to t uh, need a blanket. Oh, you did not get no sleep. 
Uh, what time is it? About one hour until dawn. Dude, why so early? Oh, someone is not a morning person. Uh, will you two pipe down trying to sleep over here? Damn, she got a mean face. I like it. Uh, yawn, Gregor, the birds outside aren't making uh, much noise yet. Uh, we didn't bring many supplies, remember. Better to get a head start gathering food. I honestly can't see the trees outside right now. Gregor, did you see any spiders last night? She's still panicking, bless her. Uh, there was a small one in the bathroom. You won't be washing today. Uh, actually, I did see a centipede by the sink. Mariah turns a, pe a slight little pale. Uh, Kareen's messing with you, Mariah. Let's find more of that wild sorrel today. Yeah. If you're lucky, little guy, maybe I'll teach you how to catch some wild brown trout. Ooh, sounds good. Uh, what's with you and meat, big guy? Anatoly's herbalism book stated that there are many more species of plants to eat out here. Let's leave the fish alone. Dude, you have I'm, I'm dead. I dislike you. I dislike you already. Vegetarians. Yeah. Uh, you know I'm not uh, into meat. That's a shame. I'd wake up early to go fishing. Uh, cheer up, Kareen. We'll get uh, to observe the trout as a very least. Maybe we'll see more red deer today. She's not so impressed at all. That sounds like a waste of time, Gregor. Yeah, kill the deer. Let's eat the deer. Uh, maybe we'll find some black thornberries. I love black thornberries. Uh, 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 there's a lot of weird sounds coming from these people. Uh, we'll be back later. Can you watch our stuff today? You not. Uh, thank you. Thanks. Uh, 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 sounds like Scooby Doo now. Don't steal and think, okay? You not. I mean, I am one of your friends. Yeah, surely you could trust me at this point in time. You've brought me to this cabin with you, so there must be some kind of trust. Uh, leave, they all leave the cabin with a hot step. Uh, you're alone, but thankfully you have a drawer of champettes to keep you company. Tutorial. Each day, you'll be asked to explore a different part of the cabin. You get uh, only get one choice. Uh, then the day will end. Choose wisely. What do you want to check out today? Well, I might as well check the champettes then and have a natter with them. Oh, it's a basement. What's in the basement? Uh, well, I'll go talk to the champettes. Or champettes. Hello! Hello! You almost... <laughs> yeah, well, okay, nearly cracked myself. The uh, other champettes are somewhere in the basement. So it's just us today. How about some fun cabbage facts? Go on then. You shake your head. No, thank you. Great. Okay. Cabbage has 24 calories in 100 grams and is the great source of vitamins K and C. I didn't know there was a vitamins K. Uh, purple cabbage has even more v uh, vitamin C than green cabbage. Maybe you should ask Anatoly uh, why that's when he gets back. Uh, globally, Russia, Russia eats the most cabbage. Uh, pretty cool, right? Well, yeah, I suppose some interesting facts there. Uh, you should be a scholar instead of world-class comedian. Oh, you've got another achievement. There you go. Uh, since you've been polite today, I'll give you a champette secret recipe for Lebesis-style tabbouli. Wow, okay, that's a, that's a mouthful. Not your normal meal, but I think you'll enjoy it. Uh, you're not sure? Tutorial. To check out a recipe, go to the main menu under gallery. Be sure to save beforehand. Okay. Uh, let's, let's have a quick gander then. I'll save first. Plonk you there. Uh, back there. Let's go look at this menu. I want to see what these recipes look like. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Let's get extras. All right, so we've got a character introduction, sir. Ooh, well that actually looks quite nice. Is this that tabbouli thing? Oh, it's the eggplant thing. I'll go back. Oh, just click it. That genuinely looks nice. I'm hungry now. That's clever, so it's actually giving you a way to make, yeah, full instructions on how to make these things. Well, if you want to take a screenshot of this now, 
you could make this Lebanese style tabbouleh. Vegan, for all you vegans out there. Hopefully they'll put some meat in there eventually. This one's vegan as well, for you vegans out there. I don't know why you want to, but you know, maybe you stick a steak under that instead. It'd be really nice. Uh, let's carry on then. Uh, well, my work here is done. Champettes, mosey out. Can you put me in the draw? I want to surprise the others later. You're extremely really relieved that the cabbage has stopped talking. Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, you don't want a cabbage talking your ear off all day. It just seems like a bad idea. You shut the drawer as per her request. You look over the supplies and start planning your next meal. Get that Lebanese tabbouleh thing. That sounds really good. Or well, don't you look happy? We're back. <laughs> uh, knock it off, Mariah. It's pretty rare to be scared of one. Uh, it's not. What are you scared of, big man? Uh, who knew the big guy would be so scared of? What are you scared of? Shut up. You don't understand. Don't think anyone understands, Gregor. It was just a marmot. Well, that was a marmot. Gregor, not a monster. Marmot. I'm gonna have to Google that in a bit. Mariah laughed so hard that her ears, uh, that your ears ring. Jesus Christ, that is a loud laugh. Wow, she's going for it. Go, go. Tears are rolling down Mariah's cheeks. She's laughing so hard that she's about to hyperventilate. Stop Mariah from hyperventilating. Absolutely not. <laughs> One less mouth to feed, right? That was dark. You don't get it. It's pretty personal. Uh, then please explain, big man. I, uh... Gregor looks incredibly uncomfortable. Uh, let's leave him alone. Uh, we found some raspberries and elderberries near the cabin. You didn't really go very far, did you? You're supposed to be foraging in the woods and you've collected food that's just outside the front door. Quite a selection of berries. We also found some wild... You find this sorrel. Is that just outside the cabin as well? Is this going to be enough for a good meal? Probably not. You know, berries and whatever sorrel is. Uh, everyone is looking at you for your answer. You decide to do an inventory uh, of all the in available ingredients. It takes you a while, but you decide on your speciality. Cabbage rolls. Are we using cabbage from the cut drawer? You first bring a large pot. Oh, okay, we're back to cooking again. Let's do the cabbage leaves, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, cooking, cooking, cooking. Yum, yum, yum. Delicious. Uh -huh. Wow, well, yeah, well, that's great. Divide the rice. Oh, yeah. No, divide the rice. Oh, sweet. You place the cabbage, blah, 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 blah. You cover it up and bring it to a boil. You reduce the heat. Ah, blah, 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 blah. Oh, that looks like it's wrapped in bacon rather than cabbage. Ooh, that actually looks nice. You cooked cabbage rolls, meals and deals. Uh, Mariah looks optimistic. Kareen looks skeptical. Anatoly looks curious, and Gregor looks thrilled because it looks like meat. Uh, you watch intently as everyone tastes the first bite. We're all happy now. It's a lot less than last time. Damn. Nom, 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 nom. That's pretty damn good. Wow, I could eat the whole uh, batch of myself. I bet you could. Uh, I think the vegetable stew tasted better, but I'm loving how tender these cabbages. The sauce is really uh, pretty red. Did you use fresh tomatoes for it? It really adds to it. Spoon some liquid on top of it. You'll thank me later. Anatoly, incredible! It's definitely growing on me. Yeah, stop whinging. Uh, thanks again uh, for cooking. This really was something special. Everyone leaves the dishes behind for you. Uh, oh, right, all right. So I cook and I've got to wash the pots. Is that the game we're going to play, okay? Jerks. Jerks, all of you. Not happening. You settle in and go to bed. Everyone goes to bed full. Yeah, and lazy. Because they just left everything. Tomorrow will be another great day. Do. You're up early again. Good morning, everyone. 
like, oh, she really don't like the mornings. <laughs> I think that makes the perfect sound for it. Did you look at that face? You can't tell me that's a <laughs> looking face on that. Oh, no, there is no one. <laughs> Rage mode activated. Again, Gregor. I tell you, I do like his name. Gregor's pretty cool. It sounds like it should be just like a big Viking knight or something. Uh, can't you let us sleep in? Not today. Why? Storm clouds are gathering outside. We need to find some food before it begins to downpour. Gregor, don't overreact. Uh, no, just, uh, overacting. We have enough food to last us a while. Enough food? I thought we used most of the supplies last night uh, for last night's it's dinner. Dear me, I am bad today. He's right. The meal you made was delicious, but it used a lot of what we had. Oh dear. Gregor also correct. Uh, prescription is. Oh god, I can't. Sorry guys, I can't read that word. It's unusually high in this area. Pre precipitation? I think that's what it says. Many areas begin high risk for flood. It'd be foolish not to go out and look for food today. You really think it's, it will flood? Thankfully, the cabin is uh, on high ground, but that doesn't mean uh, we're safe from floodwaters. It's always a possibility, so it's... So it can't hurt to be prepared. Damn, you know what? I apologise, guys. I'm doing really bad with reading today. Uh, you're losing it, Gregor. Kareem. Uh, there's nothing to worry about. I think Gregor's right, Kareem. <laughs> it won't hurt to prepare for the worst. <laughs> she sounds like a mule. I, I think uh, she's right, Kareem. Fail to prepare, prepare to fail. Anatoly. Let's go out and prepare for the storm. Foraging should be a key pri uh, priority today. We'll try going further than the bloody cabin. You know, go all the way out to the woods, you see. Out there and find some food. Preferably that day you keep seeing. Uh, there are plenty of edible foods and it has be a better odds uh, than trying to hunt. Give me a few minutes and I'll plot out our route with some paper. Uh, let me help, little guy. Anatoly and Gregor head to the bedroom to consult the map. Mariah and Carrie are still hanging around. Tutorial. Unfortunately, in life, you can't make everyone happy. When given a choice to speak to a character, choose wisely. You can only select one at a time, one of them. Try to max out your bond with certain characters for unique dialogue and scenarios. Okay. Well, I've already started with Kareem, so I'm going to have the option to just stick with Kareem for the minute. Which one would you like to talk to? So I'll sit with Kareem, because I've got one heart already, and I'm going to build her the max, see what I get. So Kareem, you're my girl. Hey, this paper nailed to the wall, uh, wall looks pretty ancient. Uh, what were the odd uh, old days like? Uh, but I'm not sure what you mean. Extremely brutal. Not as bad as times like these. Um... Mm, uh, I'm not sure what you mean. Never mind. You must enjoy these uh, antiques, though. You bore Kareem with some brief yet dull descriptions of items laying around. Cool. I'll tell uh, the others later. Kareem looks disturbed by your comments. You hear a loud laugh coming from the other room. Gregor and Antoly. Uh, okay, no, I think I've screwed up there. I, I want to come back to that, so be right back. Whoop. I'm going to try that again. I'm going to try that again. Oopsie daisy. Right, wrong button. I'm going to try and I'm going to pick pretty brutal this time. Extremely brutal. Oh, really? You'll have to share the details with me later. Okay. Kareem will not be able to stomach your stories. Oh, damn. I did it again. Kareem will definitely remember that. Oh, actually, that still works. Okay, I still got I still got one. Cool, cool. I tell you, I want to max it out. So I'm, I may have to flip-flop between my choices, which might be cheating. But I want to max her out, because she's my girl now. This is my character, Waifu. I'm having her. This is the one I've chosen. Uh, you hear a shout from the other room. Uh, Gregor and Anatoly came back from their meeting. Gregor is blushing slightly. What have you two been up to? Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, can you cook something while we're out? Uh, you nod. Thank you. All right, everyone. We have our route now. Let's beat those rain clouds. Clown, very clown. I don't know what they've ever done to you. 
Uh, the group's leaves determined as ever. You have the cap it all to yourself. Okay. What's that noise? Sounds like it's coming from the kitchen. Ah, radio. What's going on with that radio? You didn't even notice it on the ground when you walked in. Did somebody leave the radio here? Ooh, in the woods. It looks newer than any, anything uh, you've seen before. Seems to be broken. Better hold on to it. You got the strange radio. Before you cook dinner, what should you check out? Okay, uh, let's see. Well, the champ chompettes were hanging out by the basement last time, so let's go check the basement out. Your imagination runs wild staring at the basement door. You try opening and closing the deadbolt just in case. You mill around until the others return. Okay, right, so that was a bit of a dead end then. Literal dead end. Uh, Mariah's back early today. Oh, wow, she's seen stuff. Hey, the others are still looking for food outside. Anatoly found some more berries, but nothing that will feed all of us. Please don't tell the others, but I'm a little worried about our supplies. I crumbled the, no the number. Uh, I crunched the numbers, and we don't have enough food, even with rationing, to last. If there's a big storm and we get stuck here, Mariah seems disappointed in your inventory management. Hold up! You told me to cook the food. You didn't tell me to ration. Give me them dirties. Can you try cooking with a little less this evening? You nod. Oh, no, yeah, now you've been all smarmy. Thank you. You've done such a good job with meals so far. Yeah, I mean, I've been cooking, I've been washing up while you guys are out just collecting berries. Find more food, people. Find more food. You're very sweet. Uh -huh. Is Mariah blushing a little bit? Oh, right, now she's got hearts for me. Okay, sorry, I'm Kareen's man. You can't be involved in that. Mariah, remember that. Okay, apparently I'll just get a heart. Yeah, I'm not interested in you, my darling. I am all about Kareen and your weird pointing your finger at me, making me the bad guy here. I wasn't happy with that one. Maybe you can teach me to cook sometime. Uh, you're not looking forward to it. Uh, hey, you could hold cooking classes here someday. I mean, I'll come out for the vacation too. I, I feel like I'm being the slave in this situation where I'm cooking while you guys are on and fun and I've got to teach you lessons. Rudely interrupted, a tender moment, the others burst into the cabin, hopefully with some actual food. Don't worry, Karee. My heart is for you and you alone. Don't be so down, everyone. We got tons of good berries. Yeah, wow, berries again. A jam is so bland without any sugar. Do you have any sugar? You shake your head sadly. Yikes. Turn that frown upside down, Kareen. Who knows what tomorrow will bring. Probably more berries known at this rate. I'm not smiling for you, Gregor. Smile for me. Yay. Uh, 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 it was a good puke. You missed out. The sunset was really tremendous on our way back. Hues of orange, red, even a little purple poked out. Red sky at night, sh sailor's light. It's actually, I think it was shepherd's delight in here in England. Might be different over there. Uh, red sky in the morning, sailors take warning. Uh, so we can expect a sailor's delight tomorrow. That's awesome! You're such an optimist, big guy. Uh, we must have walked a few miles today. Uh, let's see. Gorgeous sights. You could uh, even see snow on the tips of the mountains. Oh, we're hungry now. That rumble, uh, that rumble sound like a dying cough. Uh, you look like a person... You look from person to person, try to determine who it was. Uh, I'm going to strongly suspect it was Gregor. You, Gregor. Is that your tummy going at it? It was definitely Mariah. Okay, Mariah. I recognise that sound from anywhere. Bah! Guilty. Mariah looks embarrassed, but the group laughs at her honestly. Uh, expect for you. Expect, accept. Expect, god damn. You search your mind for something to say, but all you can think of is an old riddle. Uh -huh. 
Those who have it do not want it. Those who have it least succeed. Those who have it for too long perish. When you feed it, it gets smaller. What am I? I think I've read this before. Uh, I think the answer is nothing. Is it nothing? Maybe? Hmm. Dust. <laughs> Try again, big guy. Everyone is pondering the answer. Mariah's face lights up. I got it. Is it hunger? Oh, okay. Yeah, correct. I was wrong. Yeah, I was going to guess that. Uh, so, uh, what's on the menu for tonight, chef? Bread and jam. Oh, food of champions. Uh, you crush the berries into a small mortar and pestle, uh, spreading it crusty bread. Oh, okay, at least this was a little bit easier than the last one. You cooked raspberry jam. Beer cupboards. Uh, the bread's a little tough. Gregor, don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Uh, but this homemade jam is to die for. Yeah, you better be sorry, God damn it. I spent all day on that jam. All day. All day. Uh, no, you're right, Gregor. This bread stinks. Dude, what is with you guys whinging? Mariah. Everybody laughs. Yeah, I'm not laughing. You guys are making me cook, clean. Oh, dear. I am not liking you. You literally brought me here to be a minion. That's it. You're not sure this could be called a meal. But it's got the job done. Everyone thanks you for dinner and heads off to sleep. Uh, you go to bed uh, wishing you had more. You have a strange dream. Something is riding on your back. And it's beginning to uh, becoming a nuisance. You try to see it in the mirror, but you can't get a good look at it. You try almost everything, but it won't get off. The pain between <laughs> the pain between your shoulder blades is getting worse by the minute. You wander away from the cabin, stumbling by the river, and soak your pain in the cold water. You didn't want things to come to this. Uh, but you're exhausted all other p uh, options. You swim out to the middle. Rocks on the bot uh, bottom cut your feet. You slip and fall on your knees. You lean back trying to submerge the th uh, thing underneath the water. But it won't drown. It won't drown. It won't drown. You splash frantically. Uh, plunging your head between uh, beneath the plunging your head beneath the water, the current takes you downstream. Uh, you try swimming uh, to the shore, but it's no use. The water fills your mouth and nostrils. After a minute, you stop struggling against the current. As you gaze up into the sky, you feel it leaving your back, drifting into the sky, as you sink into the bottom. As you take your last gasp, you see what was on your back, staring into your eyes. Mm. But you don't even have the air in your lungs to scream. You wake up in a cold sweat. Oh. Oh, okay. Was that the thing? It's like a weird old lady. Things are starting to take a turn by the look of it. Just a dream. God, this month the game hands out the achievements. Wake up! Okay. I'm going to quickly save this. Just plop you there. And I think I'm going to leave the first episode like that. Now, obviously, there's a lot more to it. I'm going to try and get a lot of this one out because it's starting to head in a good direction. I don't like the way they're treating me in a minute, though. I may have to take action against them and be less polite to them. Like, no, you need to cook for me, goddammit. By the sound of it, it's raining now, so there probably won't be no foraging. So we'll have to find out in the next one. But yeah, I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to come back to this. I'm going to try and knock out as many of these episodes as possible while I've got a few days off. Because obviously it's not suitable for the kids. And I assume that means it's going to get a lot worse, which means a lot cooler. So stay tuned. More episodes will be coming. But I'm going to end the video there. Like always, please like the video. If you've not already subscribed to the channel, please hit the subscribe and hit that little bell. Please share the video out with as many people as you possibly can. And if you could put a comment down or how you think they can keep treating us like that because it's not right i'm not their slave not their slave 
But anyway, guys, you all have a cracking day. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye! I'm really hungry now. God damn this game.